I still okay, think we should watch, watch like them every day. Wait, so was out. the first was the first day literally like? It was literally Switch, Switch X, X, and, X and SNS, and SNS. which would have been That's amazing. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. They did it for us, Tuner. Yeah, and we didn't this even do anything. This was specifically targeting us. <laughs> and they didn't even do anything. Christ. Can't believe I can't believe you've done this. I'm you, sorry. I was know, we sorry. Could do I had to go into work cheeky... early to train someone that day. We, you know, we could I'm do a, a cheeky... trainer now. We, listen, we could I do have a cheeky... more responsibilities. Listen, we could, li hey, we could do a cheeky, like, just record the two and then, like, upload that as a separate snippet and be like, yeah, we totally didn't watch all of these in one day. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to a video. Hello, everyone. Where we forgot to do an introduction. Well, we didn't forget. We just haven't done it yet. So here's the introduction. Yeah, here's the introduction. I'll probably cut a clip from earlier for like a pre-introduction clip thingy. You know who else cuts a clip for a pre-introduction thingy? My mom. Yes. That, yes. Thank you for stealing my thunder. <laughs> you fucking... Well, guess what? She stole your thunder because it's her birthday today. It oh. actually is. <laughs> Wait, oh, happy birthday to, hey, to Jinx, Jinx Mom. Mom. Happy, birthday happy birthday to Jinx to Mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Jinx, Jinx Mom. Mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Jinx you. Mom. And I'll have you know it's Mom because I'm British. Oh, but. And it's Mumsy because I'm a silly British. <laughs> yeah, but what, like, what, no, British. she would be, uh, would she be, like, Ma? Well, in Chinese, yeah, but I'm more British than I am Ch than I am Chinese. Well, what is, and I'm but what is she? Is huh? She, what is she? Is she more British than Chinese? I mean, she's Chi I mean, she's Chinese, but she's like the whitest po Chinese person from her generation. Okay, okay. So what you're I saying is, what I you're saying are, like, is, we need to go to Applebee's and hit them with family. the happy, happy birthday from all of us. You, <laughs> we wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what white people like Applebee's birthday party. <laughs> I still remember when I would go to like family reunions. There's one in particular I can remember where my cousins were complaining about how much Chinese food they always ate at home because their parents would only cook Chinese food. And I was like, my mom cooks Chinese food like once a week. <laughs> we just eat like other food normally. She normally just cooks us other things. She doesn't really make Chinese food much. Hey. I was like, oh, right. Hey. I forgot my family is the whitest. Look, this, is, this isn't a podcast. This is this is looking at monster Sorry, stuff. We, have, we, have, we, we save have this shit for the podcast. We're using all of our good jokes now. We don't have anything for all this right. weekend. Last fun fact: uh, Jenny's mom and my mom actually had the same birthday. Oh wow! Weird. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 All right. All right. Let's cry. Okay. I'm actually, you cry while I try to console you more accurately. I'm already crying. That was loud. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that thrust. Ooh. Uh, I'm already mad. Destroy oil. But at least it's not like standing there doing bullshit. It's just... Yeah, it seems like it's actively weaved into your combo. Or maybe it's not. But yeah, yeah. Okay, if that's an attack, then it's fine. Yeah. And so you can still destroy your Geki, because of course you need to destroy your Geki. Yeah, you need to destroy your Geki. Oh, Ooh, oh so you can. Oh, you can even switch between Ooh. them on oh. silk. Oh, that looks. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, I was wondering what that thrust was. Okay. I am I, hoping that for it... half a second I thought that was cold to Roth armor. So the real thing about the destroy oil is it looks like they might. <laughs> Let's double check. Okay, so is that an actual attack? It's not just, I'm applying oil to my thing. Because if that's what that move is, that's fine. Um, I still would like it. Uh, yeah, it looks, like they, it looks like they do a thrust and then like apply it to the blade. You... Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's a thrust into an application. So at least it's actually a co it's like a combo thing. Yeah, nothing breaks up combat more than let me just slather some juice on my sword. Yeah, like remember every time you had to like swap mantles in Iceborne? Yeah. 
Like that that really breaks things up, especially if you especially I mean at least Soul and Shield sheaths fast, you know? Yeah. Like with Switch Axe and Charge Blade, Jesus Christ, swapping mantles is a pain in the ass because sheathing is so slow on those weapons. I'm liking this twin blade combo. It looks yeah, nice. it looks cool. Kind I'm hoping it has Yeah, but like the Sword and I believe it's competing with Reaper combo. I was about to say, like, I was about to say, because it looks like they're at it. That's just a new, uh, what's it alternative, right? No, 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 right? no, 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 oh. no, that's, it's either Shield Bash or Reaper, so Sword and Shield combo, yeah, I guess that's open. Huh. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, no, no. Wait, no. so, so, is there an alternate to Sword and Shield combo already on SNS, no. or is this a new class This is, would be a new, like, a fourth Oh, tree. I wonder what Switch Axe's new class is gonna be, then. I like okay, whatever the hell this is, that uh, this is. This isn't a third option, it's a brand new one. What the fuck is this? Uh, it's the skill swap dash. Is that just- showed... Oh, okay. It, it, lets you skill, it lets you skill swap while dashing. Uh, they, they showed it off in the little digital event thing we looked at, but they didn't really show off it being done. They just mentioned you could do it, like you could dodge while skill swapping. Huh. So, uh, uh, there was a comment so that... on our last video that I think says it best. I would like for SNS's oil system to be similar to the heat gauge on, uh, yeah, Mike, yeah, where exactly. it's like weaved into it and you can't do it unless you are attacking. Yeah, yeah. So, and um, that's something I was me, thinking hold on, too. Hold on. Sure. Let me, uh, uh, Slendisis, S L E N D Y S I S. Uh, I see you. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So, uh, yeah. Other than it's that, like at, least it's a, at least it's an actual move, not a just an application. So yeah. I can accept that. That's fine. Yeah. And like we were talking about it, like we were when, in the last uh, thing, we were talking about how like, you know, there's different ways they could implement an oil-like thing to make it better. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a heat salt of system or making it kind of somehow function, function like an amp system for switch axe right where you have to build up enough hits and build up enough whatever to activate the uh temporary power buff sort of thing yeah like something like that at least makes it engaging even if it does kind of complicate sns and make it a little less unga um but something like, i'm not liking though is because sure you is so important and it's probably gonna be like a two uh bug move if it's a one bug move then maybe but if it's a two bug move then you're gonna have to like okay I'm do also i want to if... or do i just want to yeah Exactly. I'm also concerned if, like, if it's going to cost you bugs to swap. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, go back through that again, because if we might be able to roughly gauge how many bugs it would be based on, like, the combo they show at the end. Because they show the combo of, like, they do everything together, right? Like, towards the end, they show off everything, they show it all off together, where they do, like, they show all of it being used together. Okay. So, like... Yeah, so like he destroyer oils, and then skill swaps, and then sword and shield combos into a Shoryugeki. So, I mean, unless they had three bugs, it's about the amount of time it would take for one to refresh, right? No. That's probably not Hold long on. enough for like, yeah. Like between so one, doing destroyer two, oil. Three. Hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unless maybe swapping gives you a bug back? Which I would be very surprised. I mean, it definitely looks like at the very least it's unlikely swapping costs a bug. Because even with three, it would be hard to get it back in time there. I don't even think... I mean, this think, is just us making guesses. But... I don't think even with Wirebug Whisper you could get it back within... Yeah. And you have a much better sense of how long it takes bugs to come back, because I play Switch Axe LOL. I use half my bugs for, for, for uh, uh, what's it? Not Ugekis, Ukemis. I mean, if skill swapping gives you bugs back, that'd be fucking great, but... I don't, yeah, it's 10 I'll seconds be from use, so I don't know if 10 seconds is slow enough, but we'll see. Either way, yeah. um... I, yeah. like that, I mean, it's possible I like they have three bugs blade. right now because they pick one up before doing the thing. But either way. I like that new Twin Blade combo. I hope it has some good uh, applications. But yep. we'll oh, see boy. How fast oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, boy. Yep, yep, yep.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Elemental burst counter. Wait a second. So, oh, it's actually a counter. Oh my god, that's a juicy counter too. It's got a pretty big counter window too. Mm -hmm. Switch skill swap. So. Wait a second. We'll watch pull back, pull thing. back. We'll pull, watch pull, the whole no. thing. What? Okay. Oh wait, we can trade wipe sweep? Good, because they nerfed the shit out of it and it's useless now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that looks really good. I can't tell if you didn't, if like they didn't get hit because it wasn't an active hitbox or if it was actually giving you rock steady. You know Almadron better than I do. I like how they right, did I'm make just, Switch I'm just X watching by Almadron right now. <laughs> I'm not really sure why they bothered with compressed discharge, but that being said, uh, the really big takeaway here that is f fucking wild, because I was expecting the counter, mm -hmm. I was expecting Elemental Boost counter to be a switch skill for uh, your your Y, your triangle silk binds. So for your uh, soaring Wyvern Blade on Invincible Gambit, it's a it's a switch skill for your uh, for your reload dash. The one that, so that you never you really even used. No, I use it a lot just because I spit. When you play a ZSD spam heavy playstyle, uh, uh, when you play a ZSD spam heavy playstyle, it's pretty necessary. Mm. Okay, so this new two stage morph slash combo is just gonna be the one you have set all the time now because there's no reason to use white sweep ever. They nerfed it too hard. Unless they buff it in some break to like previous values, you never used it anyway because it was dangerous and a waste of and a waste of DPS. Okay. Storing Wyvern Blade. Yep, into Morph Sweep. Why would you skill swap there? The real question is, is that on that two stage, can I combo out of it or do I have to double morph? Either way, that two get that two stage no, looks uh, like a what was that? good morph combo. Which one? When he gets up. Oh, this is compressed discharge. It's the one no one uses because it's kind of shit. Well he's like. That was a. I mean he didn't get knocked down. Uh, well, no, that's a different scene. So, like, yeah, so, like, that, right that there? one there. There wasn't that an attack? Yeah, that's compressed discharge. That one there, that's not off of, that's not looped off of that. That's, uh, was, no, that's a, what um, I'm saying is, is, didn't he get yeah. attacked by Almadron right there when he got up? That's an, that's an attack, isn't it? So why uh, didn't he get um, knocked back? No, that's not an attack. Almadron just turned around. No. It it makes like... up. That move does have earplugs, though. Yeah. Hey guys, Jinx here. So while I was editing this, I realized I need to insert a little correction. So Compressed Discharge does not just have earplugs, it does have a small window of hyper armor. This is kind of a trade-off for the fact that ZSD gives you hyper armor while you're latched onto a monster in Monster Hunter Rise. Theoretically, this would make this useful as kind of a counterattack style mechanic, but A, it's hyper armor, not actual iframes or a guard point, so you still take damage through it, and B, the recovery time is gone awful and C, the damage it deals is really pathetic. And D, it burns a crap load of your gauge. On top of that, the actual timing window to get the hyper armor is incredibly awkward. As you can see in the background footage we have going on right now, only the beginning part of the actual compressed finishing discharge gets any hyper armor. And you always have to do an initial elemental discharge before you do the compressed discharge. And of course the elemental discharge animation time depends on whether you combo out of a double slash or not, which means you have like this really awkward period of 2-3 to three seconds where you don't get hyper armor before you actually get the hyper armor, and then you get like less than a second of actual hyper armor followed by another about two and a half seconds of recovery time without hyper armor, it's just like super awkward. Anyway, point is this move does actually get hyper armor, so forgive me for at any point saying it only has earplugs, but regardless, the points of it not really being that useful remain. Especially since we know that we're now getting a significantly better counter move anyway. At the time of recording, it's been like 3 or 4 months since I played Monster Hunter Rise and I think my brain got some mechanics mixed up. The earplugs thing probably came from my brain remembering that ZSD in Monster Hunter World Iceborne does give you 4 levels of earplugs instead of actual hyper armor like it does in Rise. At least that's what I'm guessing, I don't know, brains are weird. Anyway, I thought it was necessary to insert a little edit here explaining that because as you know we hate misinformation and I did not want to accidentally go around spreading any misinformation about this.
The problem with compressed discharge is actually really cool in theory if it was comboable. It's not comboable is the problem. So like compressed discharge, the idea behind it is that you basically instead of you know channeling like a bunch of ticks into a big explosion, you just start off with a big explosion that also has earplugs. Um, and you just basically get to fit in a big burst of damage in an early window, but the recovery time is so shit and it can't combo into anything, so you just stand there like an idiot for like two seconds afterwards. Mm. So like it's just like, well, okay, I could have just like done a com a different combo or done something else in that time or not stand here and then get my ass knocked over because I'm standing around not doing anything because I didn't do enough damage to actually stagger the monster. I actually um, didn't look at any weapons besides SNS and maybe a little bit of hammer in rise, so Compressed Discharge yeah. just gives you your ZSD explosion. Yeah, basically you swap out Elemental Discharge, which is what allows you to ZSD, or if you're not, you know, amped, instead you'll just, like, stand there, like, shooting little ticks into the air before you do a big explosion and get knocked back a bit. Uh -huh. That's your Elemental Discharge move. And Compressed Discharge was the alternate version that people messed around with, but just never really ended up being that useful, where you just instead do an initial explosion early on and kind of sweep your blade around you, so you do an explosion and a blade sweep damage. But its recovery time was so long, and it didn't have, like... It's not like it had, like, iframes or something that would make it possibly useful. It's just, like, it did, it did, fr it did front-end lower damage and then had way too long recovery time. So we just ended up ditching it because ZSD Soaring Wyvern Blade's too potent a combo to give up. Mm -hmm. But now that we have the ability to switch between them, theoretically, we could maybe use Compressed Discharge for certain situations. The problem is, is a lot of situations it could probably be useful, like the fact that I had earplugs for, like, a roll counter. Now we have... Now we'll have an elemental burst counter, so like we'll just use that instead. Mm -hmm. uh, can you rewind again, real quick, just to the elemental burst counter? I saw them. I saw them doing a combo off of it. It's the very first one they showed. Okay. I was gonna say you're gonna need to tell me. Yeah, I just want to see. Okay, so you asked for this. You asked for this. Okay, so wait, was Boom. that even Boom. necessarily a counter? Look at that. He. Yeah, he's going before it hits. Oh, so maybe it. That's so a, that's maybe it's an iframe. Maybe it's an iframe, not a counter move. Yeah, hundred percent. Look at this. I mean, I prefer it to be an iframe move, honestly. It's more skillful that way. But so he is attacking. Yep. So yeah. Yep. Way so he's just I. Oh god, I hope it's actually an iframe and not just more fucking hyper armor. We don't need more hyper armor on switch axe. We don't have a way to recover health. Yeah. So. Yes, one explosion, followed by a second wide sweep explosion. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Ooh, and the second one's an axe mode, I think? Is that an axe mode? It's hard to tell. Yeah, axe mode. So it's a, so also that means that probably gets damage increase from rapid morph, because that second hit's a morph hit. And the animation speed gets faster with rapid morph. Cool. Just trying to see and that also like means a... that Ooh, since that's the morphing... still sword. That's still sword, right? That's sword right there. But then that's axe mode right there. Yeah, that's definitely axe mode right there. So oh, yeah, that's oh. a morph hit, which means no, A, you sword. probably... Jinx, that's sword. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. It just the, the sword just got really long looking for some reason. Yeah, it's still sword. Hmm. Okay. Either way, two big booms, which is nice. And... And now and you're smorphing? Well, that's the, the, the so a really big part of Switch Axe is knowing what combos or morphs you can or what morphs you can do off of certain attacks, right? Because that determines a lot about the fluidity, and like fluidity is such a huge part of Switch Axe gameplay. That's why Zoring Wyvern Blade is such a huge boon because it adds fluidity to ZSD, which previously was like a stop and start combo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Okay, we're starting an axe mode here, so this is showing you can do it in. Yeah, you can do it in both modes, which makes sense, but. Just yep, so. See. Let's see this if time. It's do you actually. Before the hit? Yeah, or on the hit. No, yep, it's before, before hit. Before hit. Okay. So it seems like it's an iframe move, I hope. If it's more hyper on, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> so it's an uppercut into a second hit. Two. Into a third wide. That. God, that is sword mode, isn't it? God, it looks so long for sword mode. Is that a fourth hit? No, that's just the explosion going off. Okay. 
The third hit seems the third hit is a uh, discharge attack, and discharge attacks have like a slightly delayed explosion, okay. frame wise. Um, but you can't oh! combo it. You can combo directly directly into ZSD. Yeah. Oh, into ED. Yeah, back up real quick and just play that at full speed. I need to see if it's a fast a fast ED or a slow ED because there's two animation speeds for that move. Oh, it's actually a little hard to tell. I think that's a slow one, though. Might have been a fast one, or could, maybe it's a new one in the middle. Either way, either way, being able to having elemental burst counter tied to switch charger is so nice. Mm -hmm. That's so incredibly nice because switch charger was the one we literally only used because it helped us. It meant we could spam more ZSDs. But I was worried about having to, like, you know, burst counter into, like, a swap skill to get Soaring Wyvern Blade and up, you can't so just I can combo, right combo into, into ZSD. No yeah, rewind a bit, a little bit. The thing is, that the, the real question is what attacks you can combo into, because Switch Axe doesn't let you combo into every attack off it. That was just a... Okay, yeah, no, so you saw there, it, you comboed into a double slash. Yeah. That was the fast elemental discharge after double slash. So if you go straight into elemental discharge, it's slower. Because the other one was definitely slower. No, I guess the question is, is the time made up from just going straight into it worth it? Or is the double slash going to add enough motion value to make up for um, using two extra The attacks? rule with ZSD is you normally don't want to ZSD if the monster's down because you get because it's better to, like, you know, latch and guarantee extra damage. You wouldn't guarantee off of, like, normal ground comboing, yeah. like morph combos. So, like, the general rule is if you're going to miss because you double slash beforehand, then, yeah, don't double slash beforehand. But if you're going to land it either way, fit in the double slash. Okay. Uh, that's the general rule. But anyway, yeah. And then this new slash. So the real question is you morph twice there. I'm wondering if... Wait, are they even using rapid morph in this? It doesn't look like they are. The combos are kind of slow. Yeah, either way, new moveset. Though. New mo new moveset looks really fucking cool. I'm hoping that you can actually, like, you're not forced to morph twice on that double morph, and so you can have the option of either swapping into sword combos or axe combos off of it. Either way, this adds a lot of versatility to the moveset, and having a counter looks pretty yeet. So, I'm excited. Yeah, and I'm excited that you're excited. I also know a speedrunner, Fox Invictus, I, I didn't watch the video because I wanted to wait until I saw the Switch Axe stuff, but he made like a one minute video being like, Power Axe, like, oh, what's it? Uh, power File Meta question mark <laughs> based off of this. So the, I guess the real question is, does the, if Elemental Burst Counter gives you a huge amount of amp gauge, then Power, then power Files may become meta again. Because they've they fell off really hard in Rise. You don't really use Power Files anymore. But if... Elemental Burst Counter can give you a really big chunk of uh, amp gauge, then that may be different. That may not be the case anymore. Anyway, bog, bog. Uh, so how do you want to do this? Do you want to just like cut it here and pretend like we've been doing this every day, or do you want to just do all six in one? I guess we might as well just do all six right now, but then we can also like do the others when they come out. Okie dokie. Heavy Bowgun! This Chad's is, favorites. I was gonna say, this is more of a you thing than me, but... I mean, Chad also plays with us a lot, so now we'll get to... Now we'll get to see more stupid high DPS shit he can do. Setting Sun. Oh, this is the one that you shoot through the amp window. Oh, cool. Baptiste alt. Uh, multiple... So, piercing Multi ammo hits. buff? And... Slicing buff? Uh, a piercing, slicing, and also uh, elemental it says pierce buff. That if multi hit, multi -hit ammo, ammo only. So piercing, slicing, and which, elemental. Which piercing was already like, I'm pr if I recall cool correctly, was already meta against a lot of monsters anyway. Yeah. And elemental piercing was also really good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a pierce. It's a piercing buff. I guess, yeah, I guess we don't know if it's all ammo. Or... Yeah, it's a huge elemental buff, though. Yeah. Counter charger. Oh, boy. Oh, I see. Ooh, that's a fun, Yeet. That's a fun little that is fun. Oh, man. Chad has, like, has, like, good counters now. 
Ooh, fast. Oh my god, they fucking put what's it? They put Brave Heavy Bowgun back in. Oh, not Brave Heavy Bowgun. What's it called? Uh, that's a that's a for you thing. Like the strongest bo heavy bowguns ever been, short of like Rocksteady cluster stuff. Yeah. Was uh, what's it called? I Valor say, heavy bowgun. Oh, I was yeah. wondering, could you use that combined with that? Yes, you can. That's a ridiculous amount of fucking shooting. <laughs> yeah. So like, a Valor heavy bow. Yeah, siege mode. That's it. Thank you, Lamalot. Siege mode's back. They added siege mode into Rise. The Fucking mad lads added siege, this, added siege mode. This is they fucking, added siege back. Oh fuck. This is fucking crazy. Yeah. So this is siege mode. Uh, and for you, uh, the, the only the only reason I ever wanted to play for you was to play Valor Heavy Bowgun because siege mode looks like so much fun. Basically, you could basically you would go into a crouch and your firing rate will get faster and faster and faster over time. Uh, as well as there were some other mechanics you could use to like add extra uh, uh, rounds, uh, uh, rounds into your siege machine gun fire, and then Valor would let you basically cancel out of that into a roll that led into a really fast dash, so you could reposition to turret down again and machine gun people. So yeah, the Mad Lads added siege mode back into Heavy Bowgun. That the, them world record clear. Speed run time's about to get way fucking faster with that shit. That is hilarious. Yup, that is literally just Papega aim. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. God damn. Oh, wow. Well. well Chad's going to contribute an even higher percentage of our hunt DPS now. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Um, lol, heavy bowgun buffs. Why? Yep. Insect glaive, the weapon yeah, like that I want to stuff. like, but I hate the bug. Lol. Oh, you throw a Kinsek to deal massive damage? That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just I was gonna eat say it. This is... Just <laughs> fucking yeet the bug. This might make the bug fun. Just yeet the bug and then dash to it. Interesting. That's you a fun gap closer. It. I like that. That's a yeah. really good gap closer, yeah. It also would be. It also is incredibly good for dunking if you can land it on the head, because even if the yeet doesn't dunk them, you can then immediately follow into like an aerial dive combo. Kinsek's life. Ooh, dash forward, more distance. More mobility. But oh, it boy. takes longer, so. Yeah. Loadouts. Er Wait, what? God. It was just like loadouts. Oh. Interesting. So you can actually do full loadout swaps? That's going to be really nice for Switch X, actually. Oh, I wonder if it's loadouts or if it's just... I was gonna say, I wonder if that's just, uh... Why didn't they mention Wait, it Wait, did they just skill swap mid-air? Can Insect Glaive skill swap mid-air? Yeah, I, I, guess was, why I, just I was, the wasn't end. sure if it was an Insect Glaive thing or if it was an everyone thing. They didn't mention it in other videos. I mean, to be fair, what other weapon is spending that much time in the air that it matters? <laughs> I mean, the ben main benefit of that is you can, I'm assuming you're going to be able to attach the Kinsect with that thrust. So you can use it to attach the Kinsect where you want it to be attached. So that's probably more of a raw... Oh, actually, it looks, it actually also looks like when you do that thrust, I think it might also, it might also immediately give you the uh, buff, like the uh, thing for that area. Yeah. Because it looked like I thought I thought I saw particle effects going inside the Kinsect user, which would be really nice. Because like you were saying, you hate the bug mechanics where you have to like hit a thing, drag out a thing, hit a thing, drag out a thing to like get the buffs you need to play to play Insect Glaive functionally. And if that move lets you immediately re-up them, then that gives you a much more fluid way of doing so. Yeah. Which would be neat. Hmm. Okay. Any thoughts? Um. 
I find it hilarious that Aerial IG is one of the coolest looking movesets and coolest feeling movesets in the game other than playing Switch X, but its damage is shit because it's Aerial. <laughs> But that being said, if you can use aerial, if like a, uh, if the, uh, if the aerial move set could be used to like actively re up your buffs and whatnots, so you can still engage with buffs while also engaging with DPS uptime, that actually makes aerial useful. You know, it actually gives you a reason to do aerial combos other than just feeling cool about it, because like doing this could be a way for you to re re up your buffs. I noticed like there's two different colors of smoke. Yeah, so those are, if I'm quoting, those are the dust clouds that Kinsex make yeah. when they like latch onto I things, right? Was there two? Usually yeah, that means, only that, two one. that means that two different parts got latched at some point. So I think that does maybe confirm my theory that like you're attaching the bug every time you do that. Because when you yeet it, yeah, when he yeets it, it creates a dust cloud because like the Kinsex yeah. attached to it. And then same thing when he does this. Well... It's really hard to tell. I'm really hoping that this uh, Kinsex Slash does let you, like, acquire the, uh, okay, wait, did they... the Essence. I might be remembering wrong, but I thought when a Kinsex hit and created Dust Clouds, that was the type of bug that it was. It didn't have to do where it was hitting. It just had to do that it was hitting. Hmm. So this bug is, is the creating... Dust, is the Dust Cloud? Is the uh, Dust Cloud is based on the type of Kinsect, you're right. So this bug is creating two different kinds of clouds, and I don't know if that's to do with the move or if that's just a new type of bug that creates two different clouds. Yeah, oh, Ketzalo says that the air attack blast. builds up the dive damage. Oh, uh, okay, so that's the reason to do the aerial stuff in Rise, is to build up your dive damage. Interesting. Yeah, no, there's a heal and blast us, so... Maybe the... Maybe they switched Kinsex with their loadouts? I don't think or, so. Or maybe it's a new bug that does two times? I don't know. I haven't played Kinsex in Rise, so I don't know shit. We'll have to I, ask I don't know. Cups. Yeah, ask Cups. Cups will know. <laughs> ask Cups' opinion. Cups will know. I am Switch X player who occasionally plays Dual Blades because I didn't have a counter, and now I have a counter, so now I'm just a forever Switch X fan. Okay. So Drax has never been stronger than it has been in Rise, and it's fucking great. Okay, any thing you want to rewatch on that? No, not really. Okay. Like I said, I'm just hoping that the Awakened Kinsect attack does let you uh, get cash essences, because that would make it much more engaging to keep your buffs up, you know? Now the only two ones that we probably care about. Kek. Oh, yeah, look at that Karen haircut. Yeah. I mean, you care about hammer. Well, you care about greatsword. Do I? A little bit. So I have to I assume impact burst is going to be here for uh, elemental. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. It also makes it easier to flinch monsters, so I assume it also adds extra stun. Mm -hmm. Lol. Let's make hammer have switch axe file. How switch axe amp files? Okay. So you either choose the, I guess, I guess that would be quicker KO application than following up with your impact meteor in order to capitalize on it. I guess so. Worst move in the world, yay! Let's replace it with hopefully a usable move. Yep, hopefully. No. <laughs> well, although maybe, maybe. That, if the emotion value is good enough on that. <laughs> it's the same move, but different. <laughs> boop, boop. See, that looks that looks like chonky, so the motion value on that might be worth it. Well, at least you can combo thing. off. Like, it looks like it flows better into things. Yeah. So. Oh, wait, that's right. You have, like, that's right. Hammer has, like, that little charge dash thing now, I forgot. Yeah, I'll, it I'll looks like you get a thing. full level 3 charge, so if you can combo that into Meteor, it's like a yeah. full Meteor. Yeah, so I, that I, actually... Like, I think that spin move... I mean, uh, that, I mean, it basically means that you can use that spin move instead of your st instead of your neutral level 3 charge, which is like, hopefully it has some application. It looks like it has some gap close to it, so maybe that's part of what makes it useful.
I don't know. I haven't played Hammer. I was gonna say, like, this is just fucking hunting horn. <laughs> Lol. Do a hunting horn spin to get Switch Axe files. Uh, this is a fucking hunting Oh, Hammer. God, I hate that. This, this spinning bludgeon is so bad. It's so bad. But this it's at least looks like so it bad. is useful. Yeah, no, like, that's faster. It's got three concise hits and also keeps a charge, so you can... And also keeps a charge, so you can combo off of it. Yeah. Like, that actually seems very handy. Yeah, I And I'm really hoping that, like, it's... I'm really hoping that it's MV and combos end up being worth using so that Hammer isn't just fucking spam Meteor Slam. Or whatever it's called. Because, I don't know. Hammer seems to get, seems to get Wait, really why are you, and rise. why are you doing the spin while they're already KO'd? You just... Wasted that KO application. Yeah, good question. <laughs> I know. That... What what are you doing? You fool! You could have been doing actual damage! We don't watch we don't watch actual trailer comp footage for like effective combos, alright? We Tuner. don't don't do this! Don't, Tuner, don't this is the exact do same this. this is exactly how I felt watching them don't, watching them el Don't do this! <laughs> this is exactly how I felt watching them ZSD onto a fallen over instead monster. Instead of just meteor slamming, Act. what? Don't do this. All of this is wrong. <laughs> you want to go back to Switch Axe so I can so I can bitch about the exact same thing of them repeatedly ZSDing monsters that were on the ground already. Don't do this. Instead this of wolf comboing them. <laughs> don't no! Don't do this combo. This is terrible. <laughs> Oh god, okay. These are the people that block with GS, they have to stay These on These are brand. the people Indeed that kick with GS. <laughs> uh, these are the people who do sword and shield combo on us. <laughs> oh god. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that Chad greatsword. Strong arm oh. stance. Okay. Huh, wait, what the? Okay, hold on, we'll rewatch that later. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's like an actual full counter block that keeps your charge it's and a combos counter? straight in. It's like a t it's like a tackle that I'm assuming doesn't take damage. Huh. Oh wait, they changed the charge slash combo into surge slash combo? That's fancier. I don't know what it does. Ooh. Uh, it gives you actual no it gives you actual non-charge. Yeah, that looks sexy. Okay, so, so they, you're not moving it, forward it was... on the tackle and Yeah, you're not moving forward on the tackle and you know, it looks like they're giving like actual hard counter gameplay. Because like I'm I'm hoping that you don't take chip damage through that, because that was one issue I had with Great Soul and why I didn't really pick it up much in Rise is the chip damage issue, since there's no health augment yeah. to compensate for tackling. God, no, just, like, look at how... Look at the way that comes out. Fucking yeah. Hold on. It... God, the animation on this is sexy. Yeah, hold on, just, like... Just oof. It's, it's like, instant. The sword's up there at the top right. Boom. Down there at the bottom left of that shit. <laughs> yep. Oh Swing that thing like it's a fucking toothpick. Boom! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That looks so cool. Yep. Like, it makes you feel like you're really deflecting it, you know? Yep. No, it's good animation. And then it also leads straight into an actual charge slash. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then it seems, and then you can definitely do the strong arm stance off of a charge. So you're just charging, and then you get hit, and it's yeah, boom. Yeah, no, you can counter into rage slash, which is yeah. Okay, so I might actually pick up great sword in, like with them adding strong arm stance, hold on, hold I might hold on, actually. And then we go. Damn. Okay, can we just real quick? The hitboxes <laughs> in Monster Hunter are so goddamn so good. tight. In any other game, this was already hitting. Boom. <laughs> Bam. Deflection. Yeah, actually. Okay, no, no. I need a, like a screenshot. Of, like, the fact that this isn't a hit already 
Yep. God damn, the hitboxes are really tight. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Hey, hold on. Yeah, okay, so this might actually make me pick GS up. So GS might be my next. Might be my secondary now. Yeah, I figured. Strong arm. Like, the thing is, like, I'm gonna have a counter now on Switch X, but, like, the thing that this will give me that a counter placed on Switch X won't give me is the satisfaction of giant, big, ju juicy fucking numbers. I'm also a little curious about the Surge Slash combo thing. God, just the way it just snaps. Dude, wait, hold on. Oh, into Rage Slash. Wait, hold on. So that was... Got the charge. Got the counter. And then immediately followed up with the second counter off of the next slam. So you can do it pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't think I went back far enough. Wait, wait, wait. That didn't hit. Uh, so it said that it said that it reinforces you for a while, so it's possible it gives you hyper armor yeah. for a, like a second or two. So that's probably just hyper armoring through the hit. Well, is it hyper hyper armor usually still shows in a, an animation of you like like something's hitting you. That there's not even particle effects. Yeah, you're right. It's not iframes, is it? <laughs> All, I mean, all I'm saying is, like, usually there's at least some kind of particle effect. That just didn't hit. Mm. I don't know if there's particle effects when you uh, hyper armor through things with Invincible Gambit on Switch X, so that might just not be a thing in Rise. Because I haven't, I haven't like, watched any of my recorded Hold footage. I, I just gotta watch this again in slow motion, so... Car counters the first... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Tink. Yeah, dude. I like that. Tink. That's that's a sexy tink right there. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So there's the one, and then follows that's up my, on the that's second. That's my anime one. shit right there. Yeah, and immediately can block the second one. I don't think yep, you can tackle that fast, can you? Nope, you can't. So immediately gets the second one, and then goes into that. That's the rage slash, right? Mm-hmm. And then just doesn't even get hit. Like I don't see particles, which is weird. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything. We'll find out. Oh. Could have hit the head, but didn't. Baby, back. Hey. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. What do you think? Hammer looks pretty fun. Emma looks fun. Like I said, this might actually make me pick up great swords, so I might actually need to build myself a great sword set. Yeah. No, I'll probably uh I mean hammer was always my secondary. Anyways. Yeah. Doesn't rage doesn't rage slash have like a god point or something? I fucking forget. I know rage slash has something. It's either hyper armor or a or a god point, so that might have been what we were seeing there. I can't remember. One second, I'm looking it up. Uh, uh, Ray Shots Gandhi, can I blah 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 blah? Uh, nothing else has been released so far. Uh, they've only been doing two a day and it's Wednesday, so. Yep, that was, that's all three of them that are out right now. The Sunbreak website. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Pre-order now. Yeah. I mean, like... S Wait, I forget. Do they even have tack? Yeah, they still have Tackle and Rise. They also have Adamant Charge Slash. I don't know. I'm going to... I'm going to fuck around a bit with... I'll probably fuck around a bit with Greatsword before uh, it comes out. Before uh, Sunbreak comes out. Since seeing uh, that makes me want to probably pick up Great Sword. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, hold on. Uh, multiple hits with. Yeah, I was going to say. Twin Blade looked like. Um, like an elemental? Yeah. Yeah. It did for sure. I mean, you still have perfect combo, don't you? So. Perfect combo is probably still going to be a raw option, but. Well, active monsters flinch more easily. So, it's what. 
I mean, that's more... I mean, that's more stagger damage, which is good. Yeah. Great sword. Let's see if this gives you any information for great sword. Surge slash combo. An offensive style that combines speed with the way weapon to unleash a stream of powerful slashes. Powerful will get but allows for a large number of combos. So, I mean, it's like... Probably, it hopefully is an elemental thing, but also it just seems like it's more of like a, this is an actual combos instead of just big chunky hits. Mm -hmm. A technique that uses iron soak to reinforce both your arms and weapon temporarily defend off attacks. If used while charging, you can quickly parry and attack and unleash a fierce onslaught afterwards. Okay, so it's an actual, like, it's an actual parry. It's an actual guard point move. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what it showed. Yours... Yours doesn't look like one. It looks like it's yeah. like a It looks like there's actual iframes. You have to do preemptive, which I prefer. Mm. I think that's more fun, but... Yeah, let's okay, see. two slate... Let's see. Two stage morph slash attack that follows an axe wild swing. First stage morphs in a sword mode. Second stage morphs in the die attack. Doing this combo, the power of sword, mo of sword mode attacks increase and axe mode attacks fill the switch gate faster. During this combo... So does that only mean for each individual hit, or can you add extra inputs to each of the stage of the combos to extend it? We won't know until Interesting. we play, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Either way, Axe Mode attacks fill the switch gauge faster, so that means that this, this might be a good way to actively recharge your switch gauge, which if you're... If you're Using if you're burning up your uh, if you're not saving wire bugs to use for your uh, switch reload anyway or your switch charger anyway, you'll need some way to replenish because current switch axe burns so much fucking gauge. Compared to switch gauge, uh, switch gauge that can be released as an elemental burst. If the burst is released right as a monster attacks, you'll perform a power finisher and your switch axe will go into an amp state. Holy shit! Okay, yes. Yeah, so uh, power file axes meta again. Yeah, because you can just get holy in. shit. You can just, you can get just into instantly amp. <clears throat> holy shit! You just instantly get amped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, apparently, I'm building power file axes now. Fuck me. Is that even a good thing? <laughs> yes. Well, I, miss I mean, power it's file less axe. variety. You, you uh, used to have like a different elemental switch axe for everything. Now you're kind of back. No, you to still just... have an. Uh, you still have a different elemental switch axe. It's just now you're running the power file ones instead of the element file ones. Yeah. It just means I gotta build new switch axes. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, Technical stores release power and funnels in the next charge switch attack. Power is built up when performing switch bludgeon. The charge level is then maintained when executing a charge switch. So you need to switch off of it and then you can go immediately into three. Okay. Holy shit, you can just start amped off of a roll. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Fuck, that's insane. I was thinking like it gave you like 50% amp or something, not just immediately amps you. Holy shit. Oh, oh god, I have to get rid of all my power prolonger pieces now. <laughs> I don't need them anymore. Spadge, Almadron. No, oh, Almadron no, no, is Rapid Morph. Yeah, um, no, that's sad Juratodus. Literally the only reason to use Juratodus armor is if you play Bowgun, if you play Spread Bowgun or you play... uh. Or you were playing Switch Axe with Power Prolonger, which we won't need anymore, because we can just instantly amp now. So this looks like it creates a timer afterwards that creates more flinch? Like, more stagger? Assuming that's, cr like, what I'm understanding. Yeah, seems like it. So it's not more KO, it's more stagger damage, I guess? Yeah. Also, presumably, the secondary impacts probably also have some elemental scaling, so it's probably going to be a bit better if you're wanting to run, like, an element hammer. But whether that's enough to make element hammer worth it is questionable, especially with Meteor Slam. Yeah. Cancelo, drop power for longer, time for Wirebug Whisper it. Well, the thing is, it's probably time for crit boost. Anytime you want to run power per longer on Switch Axe, you had to drop at least one or two points of crit boost, so now we're just going to run max crit boost again. With okay. power file switch axes. Perform a vaulting dance, absorbing extract. Yes, so you do absorb ex extract while you're hitting them. So you can Ye aerial absorb. That's good. Yeah. Um, well, so also can... you can actively absorb while fighting versus yeah. like yeah, uh, playing your little mini once game. Once you absorb your red extract, you won't be able to absorb any other extract, but you will perform an enhanced insect spike as a trade-off. So don't use it early, or if you're trying to gather everything. So just don't hit the head if you're trying to gather everything, I guess. Uh, 
Per insect to deal massive damage. All extracts are consumed, and the more extract you have, the more point this attack will be. Oh, wait. So you're expelling extract to use awaken kinsec attack. Yep, but then you can dash straight to them and then challenge the Vaulting Dance, meaning you can then Kinsec slash to regain extracts. Yeah, but right like, afterwards. so you've basically got yourself like an SAED. <laughs> yeah, you're literally yeeting all your extracts into a bug toss. That's actually pretty fucking great. I like that. That's kind of cool. Oh man, is this it? Will is this what it will take for Zebra to play to play Insect Glaive again? Zebra. Would this make Zebra play Insect Glaive again? I think we know everything we needed to know about Heavy Bowgun, but... Uh, Star shooting the usually special stance to reduce recoil in exchange for not being able to move. You're able to fire in rapid succession. No, it's more like... Uh, certain types of ammo cannot be used. Aww. Well, yeah. That was all specific ammo types could be used with it. Ah, come on. Okay. Uh, the longer you fire, the shorter the fire never becomes, but the risk of overheating your bow gun, if your bow gun overheats, it can't be fired. Into oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Um, setting sun, uh, special power uh, accumulates within the ring, and when ammo passes through it, the velocity of the ammo is decreased. Oh, uh, so that's why it increases the hits. It just it's lowers just the slowing. velocity. Okay. Uh, firing yes, lowering the velocity. The will boost the total number of... So, okay, then that means you don't even really want to use it unless it's multi-hit, because yeah, then you're just velocity. slowing your shot. It might miss. Yeah. I mean, there might be a reason to use it for, like, a demon ammo or something, if you're the type to use demon ammo but for then some that reason. Also, that also means that, like, Slicing doesn't really matter. Oh, then. Lamelot makes a good point. What if four heavy bowgun uses stack up on each other and use it at once? Or what happens if you does shoot through stack? multiple? Yeah, does it stack? Um. Well, so that means it doesn't affect slicing. Oh, true. Which is good. Which is slicing's already really strong anyway. So yeah, slicing, sli uh, non TA slicing like bowguns make up a. Very disproportionate majority of world records right now. Yeah. Uh, that was everything. Yep. Heroics, heroic slicing runs kill monsters so quickly and they don't get to move the entire time. Yep. Charge Blade for Jinx. Huh? I don't really like Charge Blade in Rise that much. Well, you might. I tried playing it. I was like, this doesn't feel good. Light bow guns like, for me. SAD playstyle doesn't feel great in Rise with how with how the monsters move and play. Yeah. And Savage Axe playstyle just feels like I'm playing worse Switch Axe, so I'd rather just play Switch Axe. Oh, but hello everybody, welcome. Hello. Uh, I, that is the last of it though. So. Yep. Time to uh, time for me to build some power file Switch Axes. Beep, beep, beep. Yay! God, I am. Oh my God! Yeah. So, powerful switch axes is how it's going to be meta once again. Yeah. You probably still want to stick to other types if you aren't confident in your ability to land uh, the elemental burst counter because we don't know how tight the timing is yet. Mm -hmm. Since when we were watching the video, they did have to release it within a few frames of contact, uh -huh. so the timing could be really tight. But if you can do it consistently. Like, there's no reason to run anything other than power file switch axes anymore. Do you feel like maybe we have too much power as hunters now? <laughs> Looks at all of the Elder Dragons I've killed over my career. No. Hmm. We'll have to see what oil is exactly good for i mean if it's just ko I mean, it's, just then... stag it's just well it's not even ko it's stagger yeah if it's just, it's stagger, just stagger then i don't think it really matters that much but at least it's a more interesting move than uh yeah then i'm going to ply uh, the 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 butter on my breadstick like <laughs> yeah no i mean extra stagger damage is nice and if that also translates to pot break damage, it can just be nice for like general hunting and farming. Yeah. I mean, if you remember, I just ran pot breaker for a while just because it was more efficient to make sure I broke all the pots in the hunt than to get it done 30 seconds faster. Yeah, yeah. But that's also easier on Switch Axe because ZSD lets me easily dump damage into, sp into specific body parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see exactly. 
I'm, yep. I'm hoping yeah. I'm hoping that, that that does mean that we have like a fourth slot to swap things out of and that it's not doing something else because yep. sword and sword and shield combo sucks. So twin blade combo just being free is great. Yeah, having something else to use. Well, it's the same thing with like switch axe. Uh, on the original switch axe uh, switch skill, you you replace forward thrust with forward axe slam, and forward thrust is a shit move you tried to never do unless it was on accident anyway. So switching that out with a move that adds a shitload of gap close heights and uh, uh what's it vertical range as well as as well as forward range as well as big motion value is like so sexy. That move is so good. Yeah, no, like chaos oil sucks. Round Force, the Valor SNS moves. You never got to play GU, but no. Valor SNS was the fucking funnest shit ever. You lit like you'd beat somebody. You'd like imagine the uh S uh the the long sword counter move, like where you did the giant sweep back and then like sliced forward. Yeah, that was just what SNS did the entire time. <laughs> Lol. You would you would like sweep back, thrust forward, sweep back, thrust forward. It was so much mobility. It was so much fun. I think I didn't really look into GU switch X that much, but I remember the B I remember like the I think it was in GU, the uh Switch Axe speedrun meta was to run something that made you do elemental discharge explosions twice. So, like, the meta was to, like, get up in their face, just, like, channel an ED in their face, and then your sword would just explode twice in their face. <laughs> it looked pretty neat. I think you ran it with Valor, too, so you'd have the counter mobility to, like, uh, continue to chase them with that. Yeah. But I will say that, on this, like, having only really played Switch Axe in the world and this, but also seen a little bit of Switch Axe in previous games, and, uh, the only other game I played was Try, which Switch Axe wasn't even in. Um... Switch Axe feels the best ever has in Rise, and it's about to feel even fucking better. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. we're getting a counter, and we're getting we're getting a counter, and I mean we're getting, and then we're also replacing Wild Morph, which got nerfed to hell. Because Wild Morph was so nice in Iceborne, like it was in World and Iceborne. Wild Morph was a YOLO technique. It very rarely was like a guaranteed to work move, but when it did, it felt so good. Yeah. Um. And then they nerfed the motion value so bad that you never used it in Rise. And if you used it, it was a mistake. Uh, every time, it was a mistake. Uh, because the damage was too low, it was too easy to get hit out of, it was too much animation commitment. The only time it was useful was for, like, farming small monsters, because it had such wide range. So it was good for, like, farming, like, fucking jaggies and shit like that. Uh, but now they're replacing it with a, mo with a move that seems actually useful. And, and that just means that... That just means that now, if that is actually truly the case, there's only like ten percent of Switch Axe move set you don't want you don't want to situationally use now. Hmm. Maybe fifteen percent of Switch Axe move set that are not useful in some situation. Because hmm. Switch Axe in Rise has the has the for the most part has a really nice thing that Hammer had in World, where most of your move set is useful in some way in some situation. Yeah. Even though generally your DPS rotations are spam morph combo, spam ZSD into Soaring Wyvern Blade, but you know. What do you think, before we end, what do you think uh, tomorrow's is going to be? Um, I'm betting... I feel like they're going to save Longsword for the very last day. I'm betting it's either Lance Gunlands combo. Yeah, that's or my first Or it's going to be like Light Bowgun Hunting Horn. Hmm. I feel like they're gonna want to combo longsword with something else strong, like something else popular. Bow, dude, it'll be longsword. Yeah, bow. so I think longsword bow is probably gonna be the very last day to build up hype, because they want to end strong, right? And I think longsword bow would be the strongest way to end. Mm -hmm. So I'd be very surprised if longsword bow wasn't the last two. Otherwise, I'm thinking lance gun lance is probably the next one. Personally, I'm betting it's gonna be Lance Gun Lance, Hunting Horn, Light Bow Gun, Dual Blades, Charge Blade. Yeah, I think that's the pairings. Sword. Yeah, I think I those think are gonna be the pairings. pairings. I don't sure. know in what order. Yeah. Although I bet Charge Blade, I wouldn't be surprised if Charge Blade ends up being like you know it's like Charge Blade, Dual Blades, and then Bow. Like I wouldn't be, actually I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the exact order that I said it was because Charge Blade's really hype. 
that's saving it kind of for last. Dual blades got you know a lot of whatever. So light bow gun ho- hunting horn being like in the middle. It sounds yeah. about right. But I'm excited for light bow gun because that's the only other. Yep. Sword, sword and shield, start, hammer, light bow gun. That's all I really care about. I might need to start farming up a, at least like make like a com- make like a uh, rampage uh, great sword setup or something because I might want to play. Ra- I might want to play great sword in some break. Yeah, and I might. I mean, I've kind of been wanting to play some rise anyway. A because just I want to polish off rust before some break comes out, but also like, just I've been kind of wanting to play it. And farming up like elemental power file switch axes seems like a good reason to do it. Yeah. Because switch axe is still an elemental weapon. It's not like a dual blades ratio where like it's such a huge difference. It's around ten percent or less, but it's still a, it's still better to run elemental. And my and my rampage slicer, I can literally just change to power file from exhaust file, and I'm good. So. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for today. That's uh, it. We're going to try to be back tomorrow. Yeah, we can try tomorrow. Before work. Um, let's see. What's the schedule? Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yeah, it's it's going to be at like 7 o'clock in the morning. So at any yeah, point Thursday, we wake up. Friday. Yeah, I'm just thinking because like on Saturday, I'm training someone again. So I have to go in at 3.30. So I might not be able to do it then, which means the last day of things coming out. Or that might be a bit harder. Early, you, you, you beautiful man. <laughs> Lol. Well, the more so difficult thing is since I get home late on Friday and then also go into work early on Saturday, it might be challenging to do that. Yeah. But we can definitely try. We will try. Because, I mean, it'll just be watching two videos. We only need to put, like, what, 15 minutes towards it or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, we will, we will try our best to get that stuff done. Didn't they do three every two two days? I thought they only did two every day, but... Was that three every two days? I only knew that there was... Like, the first day, Sword and Shield and Switch Axe came out. I didn't know if there was a third one, but... Either way. Did they? I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, either way, they've only got, like... They've got six left, so... Wait, they've got seven left. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They got eight left, so... Yeah. Two every two days would make more sense, yeah. but I don't know how they're doing it. Three would be weird, because then it would be uneven. <laughs> what are they gonna add to light bow gun? More slicing damage. Yeah, whatever. Well, I need to head out though, so Yep, have fun at works. Yeah, alright everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. End of stream. Bye. Bye.